We're making granola, but not any regular old granola. We're making a homemade grain-free granola that bakes up into sweet, crunchy clusters. And that happens to be paleo, vegan, and keto friendly. Hi there, I'm Nikki Sizemore. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome back to my channel. I am so grateful that you're here. So this grain-free granola recipe is a cinch to make and it's actually become my family's all-time favorite go-to granola. Even though it's a sugar-free granola, I promise you would never know it. Makes a big batch packed with protein and fiber and all that good stuff, but most importantly, it just tastes really great and I can't wait to show you how easily it comes together. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, drop them for me in the comments below and you can find me on Instagram at from scratch fast if you want to tag me in your creations. All right, let's dive in. So instead of using oats in this granola, we're gonna use nuts and seeds as the base. I have one cup of raw almonds. You wanna make sure your nuts are raw because they're gonna toast up in the oven. A cup of walnuts and a cup of pecans. Be sure your nuts are fresh too. I also have pumpkin seeds, flax seeds, chia seeds. The flax seeds and the chia seeds are gonna provide a bit more fiber and protein as well as help the granola to stick together. Some unsweetened shredded coconut. This is gonna provide a really great texture, some crunch and a really subtle sweetness. Salt and cinnamon. So the secret to getting granola clusters is to make the granola in a food processor. Food processor is gonna break everything up, allowing the ingredients to stick together when it's baked, giving you nice crunchy clusters. I'm gonna pop the lid on and I'm just gonna pulse this until the nuts are very coarsely chopped. I find it's about eight pulses, depending on what kind of food processor you have. That looks perfect. You don't wanna go too far. You can still see nice chunks of nuts in here, just like that. We're actually almost done, but I'm gonna go grab the wet ingredients and then we'll finish this off. This is gonna bind the granola together. No eggs, no egg whites. I have coconut oil, almond butter, or you could use another nut butter, vanilla extract, and then the sweetener. I'm using monk fruit sweetener in this granola. It's an all natural zero sugar sweetener and it works so well in this granola. You could totally use sugar instead, coconut sugar, even maple syrup or honey. Okay, now I'm gonna melt this in the microwave. You could also melt this on the stove top. So I will be right back. Just stir this up until smooth. Pour this wet mixture over the dry ingredients in the food processor. Then we're gonna pulse it again. All right, this looks good. So you can see the mixture is evenly incorporated. It's a little bit damp, but you still have some little chunks of nuts. This is exactly what you're looking for. Now I've got a parchment lined baking sheet. That's really important that you bake this on parchment and we're going to spread out the granola. Now here's the trick. We're gonna pat the granola into a compact half inch thick rectangle. All right, this looks good. We're gonna bake this for 10 minutes, stir the granola, pat it back into a half inch thick rectangle, and then bake it again for another 10 minutes. You wanna let the granola cool completely. That's really important. And then I just kind of lift up the parchment and let it break on its own. And you'll see, you'll get these yummy clusters. I store the granola in these half gallon ball jars. It'll fill up the jar completely plus some. I'm serving it over a dairy-free coconut yogurt. Grain-free granola is great for breakfast, but I also love to eat the clusters as a snack. They're that perfect balance of like salty, sweet, crunchy, Mm. And that sweetness from the monk fruit sweetener, you really can't tell that it's zero sugar. It tastes perfectly sweet. I hope this becomes your new go-to granola as well. Let me know if you give it a try in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you again for tuning in and I'll see you next time.